Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to continue to develop a bot that learns to play the Chrome Dinosaur game following episode 1. So in the first episode, I set up the ground and the obstacles. And in this video, I'm going to create our player, the dinosaur, and create collisions. So to create our dinosaur, we'll need to create a dinosaur class first. So at the top, I'll create class dinosaur have an initial x value equal to 80, initial y value equal to 260. I'll create a jump velocity variable equal to 8.5 and the gravity equal to 0.8. So the initial y value is going to represent the initial coordinate of the dinosaur as well as the uh, initial x, so the initial x and y coordinates of the dinosaur. The jump velocity is the jumping speed, and the gravity is going to be the force uh, that pulls the dinosaur down when it jumps. So we could define, define init self set self dot image is equal to run image index zero. So we'll assign the first image in the run image list as the face image. We'll call self.run equal to true. Self.jump is equal to false. Self.jump velocity is going to be equal to self.jump velocity. And we'll set self.rect equal to pygame dot rect self dot initial x self dot initial y self dot image that I get with that get with and self dot image dot get height oops so now we can set self dot step index equal to zero and so the step index will be used to animate the dinosaur so that it looks like it's running. So now we could create a move method. So define move with self. We want to check if self.run. We'll set self.image equal to run image of self.step index over 4. And self dot rect x equal to self dot initial x self dot rect y self dot is equal to self dot initial y and self dot step index will increase it by one every time every single time that we move. So this is checking that this is checking if we're running. So we also want to check if self.jump, so if we're going to jump, we'll set the current image to the jump image that we created. We'll set the self.rect.y, or we'll decrease it by self.jump velocity, multiplied by 4. We'll set self.jump velocity. Decrease it by self dot gravity. Now we want to check if self dot jump velocity is less than or equal to self or negative self dot jump velocity. Jump velocity. Then we'll set self dot jump equal to false and self dot run equal to true. And self dot jump velocity equal to self dot jump velocity. So this is basically checking uh, if we return back to the ground. And if that happens, we want to set the jump equal to false, and we want to keep running. So what we also want to check if if self dot step index step index 
is greater than or equal to 8. So that's when all of our animations have ended. We could just reset the uh, the loop. So we'll set self.step index equal to 0. So we can add another method uh, called draw so that we can actually show the dinosaur onto the screen. So I'll define a draw method of self and window. And then I will blit onto the window so dot image as well as the location. So self.rec.x, self.rec.y. So now that the class is created, we can make a dinosaur object from it. So inside of our game loop, what I'll do is create a dinosaur object. So dinosaur is equal to an object of the dinosaur class that we just created. Now we can call the dinosaur methods to move and display uh, the dinosaur. So in our game loop, underneath where we run through our obstacles, I will call dinosaur.move and dinosaur.draw window. So I'll save this and run it. So this should be self.img. So if I save and run this, it has no attribute draw. So this draw method should be indented one less. I can resave this and rerun. And now we see that we have our dinosaur uh, right there. And so one problem that we notice is that it's able to go through the cacti, which is not what we want. So we kind of want to detect collisions with the cactus. So I'll close this, but we'll keep track of collisions later. For now, what we will do is allow the dinosaur to jump. So instead of our move method for the dinosaur right here, I'll check the key state. So I'll get the key state equal to pygame.key.get pressed. And if the key state of game dot k space, so essentially when the space key is pressed and we're not already in the jump, and we're not already jumping, so if we're on the ground, then we'll set self.jump go to true. So that's when we want to jump, and self.run equal to false. L if so else if uh, not self dot jump then self dot run is equal to true and self dot jump is equal to false so if we're on the ground we're saying the run true and the jump false so I'll say this and run so every single time I press the space bar we should be able to jump and there it goes so I'm jumping jumping and I'm able to jump over the cacti but again like I said earlier if we can uh, you notice that we can go through our cacti, which is what we want to check. So let's check our collisions right now. So inside of our game loop, we can check if if dinosaur dot wreck dot collide wrecked with the obstacle dot wrecked, then pygame dot draw dot wrecked window green dinosaur direct five so when the dinosaurs uh wreck basically collides with an obstacle wreck so the cacti then we're going to essentially so when there's a collision between the dinosaur and a cacti we're going to draw another rectangle around the dinosaur that's green And so we run. And so let me run this again. I can jump over the cacti, but if I collide with the cacti, my dinosaur uh, gets a green box around it. So we'll stop here for this video. And if you have any comments, please put them below at the comment section. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.